and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Harry is allegedly concerned about the amount of stress Meghan is enduring per a report in The Express. According to a relationship expert, Meghan is getting emotional support from friends. Relationship expert Luella Alderson tells The Mirror, Meghan is leaning on her friends for support because of the pressures she faces in her everyday life. The constant media scrutiny and public opinion can be exhausting and take its toll, plus lots of Meghan's and Harry's deals have fallen through recently, so it's no surprise that she's been leaning on her friends for support. When faced with challenges, friends can offer emotional and practical support. They can provide comfort, empathy, understanding and solidarity in difficult times. Friends can offer unique perspectives that help us see things from different angles and come up with solutions that we may not have thought of on our own. A separate report has Meghan thinking she can win an Oscar, and it's all because of Suits. Meghan is said to be speaking with big-name directors and producers. An insider told Life & Style magazine, Suits is such a hit in reruns that Meghan's being told there's a demand from fans to see her act again. She's excited. While she'd love to land a new TV part, Meghan really wants to sink her teeth into a dramatic film role. She thinks an Oscar would be in her future. She's gotten a bunch of offers over the last five years, but turned them down because she really was trying to embrace royal life and later forge a new path behind the scenes in Hollywood with Harry. But now that's all changed. With other opportunities drying up, she's actively looking for roles and talking to some big-name directors and producers. Harry is 100% supportive of it all. Acting is what Meghan knows and what she's always loved. Meghan's Hollywood agents may be a little more concerned. The Express tells of a blunt warning that Harry and Meghan will continue to lose public support in the US unless they make a peace with his family. And The Express says the warning was issued by her new image makers at powerhouse Hollywood talent agency WME, according to an insider. A senior movie production source with ties to the agency said, The team that handles Meghan is acutely aware that she and Harry are alienating a lot of people with his constant attacks and never-ending feud with King Charles and Prince William. The strong feeling now is that Harry and Meghan either need to bury the hatchet with his family or at the very least refrain from further attacks. Older fans especially have a soft spot for Britain's royal family and those attacks have become a major turn-off. With younger fans, the opposite might be true in some cases. Netflix must be worried that the heart of Invictus may not win a big audience simply because it won't be controversial or feature any mudslinging. In simple terms, WME's experts believe that Harry and Meghan will be digging a hole they might not be able to hold themselves out of if they continue with their vitriol against his family. He and Meghan arrived here three years ago with bombshell interviews and revelations about royal life and everyone stopped to listen, but it's time to make peace and move on. If they can't do that, there's every chance they will damage the careers they're trying to build for themselves as Hollywood's movers and shakers. Meghan's mum, Doria, was partying with the Kardashians on Saturday night at the TIAH 5th anniversary soiree. The private party was hosted at a private residence in Los Angeles. Meghan apparently did not make it to the party. Palace Intrigue will be right back. The Cater's wonderful narrative took a rare hit with a daily record writing, The Prince and Princess of Wales have been raising eyebrows with the amount of time they've had off, according to a royal expert. Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer said they've had a long, long time off with their three kids, unlike others across the UK. Palmer said, I do think that's an issue for them as well. They're very popular, they're a huge asset to the UK, but there have been eyebrows raised in other parts of the royal household about the amount of time they're not doing official engagements. It may well be that they come under a little bit of pressure to up their numbers of engagements. There aren't many families where both the father and mother are able to have 12 or 13 weeks with their children on all their school breaks. I think there's an awful lot of goodwill towards them, but they do need to keep an eye on that. The Princess of Wales has made it clear that her children will remain her priority for the foreseeable future, and when you hear William and Harry talking about his childhood and how their father was always at his desk or away somewhere, you can perhaps understand why that is a priority. Former correspondent Jenny Bond stuck up for the Waleses. Bond told OK Magazine, With the late Queen's ailing health, William probably had to step up to his full-time royal job quicker than he might have hoped, but you can see how committed he is. However, I also very much admire the fact that he's not a workaholic like his father. He knows how important family life is. He seems to be a full-on, hands-on, caring dad. 
And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please head on over to YouTube or youtube.com and do a search for Palace Intrigue. Hit that subscribe button there. You don't have to listen to the show again, but it would really help us out. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue and good times. Mm-hmm.